If you are looking for the best budget 4K monitors, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on best budget 4K monitors in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer, and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a best budget 4K monitors, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. Seven hundred twenty-one QS earns the title of best 27-inch budget 4K monitor with a bright screen, reliably accurate image, and useful add-ons. Those bonus add-ons include the ability to connect multiple PC and view them simultaneously via picture-in-picture -picture or picture-by-picture, -picture, and an optional app that makes it easy to calibrate the screen or arrange up to six windows in various preset layouts. The latter is a productivity boon. HDR is in this monitor's strong suit. We recorded undersaturated color in this mode, as well as visible grayscale errors. And this monitor doesn't have the speed or adaptive sync to make it an appropriate gaming screen. But in terms of image quality, this is a bright screen, hitting 393 nits in our testing, along with strong contrast for an IPS monitor. You can also expect accurate colors. We recorded just a 2.6 E error with sRGB color. Moving on to the next and number two with Asus TUF Gaming VG289Q. You'll have to pay a hefty price for a monitor that can push 8.3 million pixels at a 144 HC refresh rate. The best budget 4K gaming monitor, the Asus TUF Gaming VG289Q, is a slower 60 HC but fight screen tiers with free sync. Yes, input lag is significantly larger than what you'll find on a 144 HC monitor, as is response time. But if you're working with a budget graphics card and want your games to look detailed and realistic, this is a great option. SDR games looked extra colorful in the VG289Q, and dynamic contrast brought subtle visual benefits, like added dimension. There are screens on this page with better contrast though. HDR isn't as fantastic as you'll find on a monitor with a full array local dimming, foul backlight, or even an edge array backlight. But shadows and highlights looked more distinct, and we enjoyed the boost in color, offering a 32-inch VA panel with accuracy and curves. Image quality is superb with bold, accurate colors and clear text after calibration. That is, when we tested in sRGB mode, we recorded a color error of 4.3E with visible errors but our calibration got it down to 0.9D. Your web and games should look as intended. The UR59C also offers fantastic contrast, as expected from a VA panel, hitting an impressive 2590.5. One after calibration, ultra-wide screens typically offer more noticeable curves, but despite its 16-9 aspect ratio, the UR59C's 1500R curve is noticeable and beneficial, allowing us to keep more windows in view. This monitor isn't fit for serious gaming, but casual players can make it work. The UR59C has a 60HC refresh rate, forms response time, and no free sync or G-sync to fight screen tiers. You get noticeably better response times and input lag scores from a 75HC screen even, but with its high contrast and the pixel density of a 32-inch 4K screen, games didn't look bad. If your games that aren't graphically intense or at lower settings and you have a speed enough graphics card that can consistently hit 60 frames per second. You can enjoy blur-free gaming on the UR59C. Next at number 4, we have HP up with the 8. If you're doing professional work, you should probably opt for a professional monitor. Pro monitors are known for offering exceptional accuracy for a premium price, but with monitors continuously improving. We're at a point where you can find monitors with pro-level accuracy in key areas, like color, just without the pro-level price tag. The HP U28 is one such screen and the best budget 4K monitor for creatives. None of the monitors on this page are color slouches, but the U28 stands out with its ability to accurately cover both the sRGB and P3 color spaces with just a switch in the OSD and no calibration. You also get an adjustable stand that allows height and swivel adjustments and the ability to flip into ported mode, offering plenty of flexibility for creative work. HP U28 comes at a premium though. While not as pricey as professional monitors, the U28 is the most expensive monitor on this list as of this writing. Still, with a USB-C port letting you charge laptops or other devices, you may be able to reduce cable clutter 
and there are many other ports here too. With that bonus in mind and creative level accuracy, the Ugmini 8 is great for feeding your hobby or even career. The number 5 position is held by Samsung 27-inch S80UA. The Samsung 27S 80UA is a little more expensive than the other monitors on this page. But once you get it, you won't have to worry about image quality. It's super colorful for a budget screen, covering 95% of DCI P3, according to our testing, and accurately. You can also opt for sRGB mode, which also offers a low color gamut error of just 2.8D. Great for productivity. The S80 UA has a great port selection, plus a USB up. You can add three USB ports to your PC just by connecting the monitor via USB-C. It can also charge devices via USB-C at up to 100W, so you may be able to ditch your ultra-portable laptop's charger. You also have display port and DHDMI options and even a headphone jack, but there are no speakers, and like many budget 4K screens, HDR is a bust. You're better off watching your HDR movies in the monitor's SDR modes, but color will still look great. On top of that, the stand is reliable even in portrait mode, but is a little low, despite height adjustment. The number 6 position is dominated by Gigabyte Eorus FV43U. The best fork monitor for HDR gaming is the Gigabyte Eorus FV43U. It's an impressive fork gaming monitor with a 43-inch fork VA panel. It delivers a very good HDR gaming experience with amazing contrast and fantastic black uniformity, two of the most important aspects of a good HDR experience. It also has great peak brightness in HDR, so small highlights in games and movies stand out well. And it has an impressive HDR color gamut. It's one of the few monitors on the market that can deliver a good cinematic HDR experience. It also delivers a great gaming experience, with a fast response time at the max refresh rate and support for FreeSync variable refresh rate. VRR technology. It has objectively low input lag, but it's a bit higher than most similar models. It's also one of the few monitors on the market that supports HDMI 2.1, so it can take full advantage of fork at 120Hz gaming from PS5 or Xbox Series SX consoles. Sadly, it's not perfect, as the image degrades at an angle, so it's not the best for co-op gamers. It also has a sluggish 60Hz response time, which might disappoint some console gamers. Despite these limitations, it's still a good monitor overall, and it's the best HDR gaming monitor we can say. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Dell S3221 QS. The best fork monitor with a 32-inch screen we've tested is the Dell S3221 QS. It's a curved VA monitor that can display deep blacks, so it's a good choice for people who like to work, game, or view content in the dark. It handles reflections well and gets pretty bright, but you might still have some problems with visibility if you're in a sunny environment. As expected of most VA panels, the viewing angles are mediocre, so it isn't ideal for sharing content because the image looks washed out from the side. Even at a 32-inch size, the pixel density is still very high, which results in exceptional text clarity. It has full sRGB coverage and decent calibration out of the box, and it also supports a wide color gamut for HDR content. Since it's primarily intended for productivity, it has a 60Hz refresh rate, and its response time is only decent, but it does support VRR to reduce screen tearing. As for the overall HDR experience, it's just okay because it doesn't get bright enough to make highlights pop, and it lacks local dimming. There are many extra features, like built-in speakers, a picture-in-picture -picture mode, as well as a usb o that includes two USB 3.0 and a USB-B upstream port so that you can plug your peripherals directly into the monitor for a cleaner setup. Unfortunately, the ergonomics are bad because you can only adjust the height and tilt. Overall, this is a good monitor for everyday use and should please most people. If you want a more gaming-oriented 32-inch monitor with a high refresh rate, check out the Gigabyte Aorus 5312U, but it may be hard to find at this time. The number 8 position is held by BenQ SW321C PhotoView. Pro-level displays are no longer the premium priced and accessible purchase they started out to be, at least as far as the BenQ SW321C PhotoView is concerned. This 32-inch 4K photo monitor is up a step or two in terms of both performance and usability, featuring an incredibly wide color gamut of 99% of the Adobe RGB color space and 95% of DCI-P3. 
If you're in the cinematography or photography sphere, that's exactly what you need. And that's on top of all the other features this monitor boasts. This is among the best 4K monitors for photo editing you'll find. And the best part is you're getting it for cheaper than all others. Next at number 9, we have Asus TUF Gaming VG289Q. With the Asus TUF Gaming VG289Q, you're getting a lot of value for your money, especially considering the small price of entry. One of the most affordable 4K gaming monitors right now, this 28-incher can swivel, pivot and tilt practically however which way you need it, within reason, naturally to serve your purpose. It also has deliciously thin bezels and a nifty cable management solution, as well as a few display settings to boost your viewing experience. Thanks to its rich, vibrant colors, super sharp image quality, and a design that is only subtly gaming-centric, this is among the best 4K monitors not only for gamers but for regular users who consume a lot of visual media as well. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Philips Brilliance 328P. As both 4K panels and HDR technology become more ubiquitous, we're starting to see more affordable monitors take on the market, and the Philips Brilliance 328P does just that. This 4K monitor combines a 4K VA panel with decent HDR performance at a price point that won't force you to break open the piggy bank. Its brightness doesn't quite reach its lofty HDR600 rating, but at this price, it's hard to complain. The Philips Brilliance 328P really is one of the best 4K monitors out there. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.